Hey guys, Start Gaming here with RJ. Um, Parker was in this video, but um, he's playing with me. We played together some Phantom Forces on, on Roblox, and uh, here we go. So we're gonna this is gonna be a Scar H gun review. We're using the Scar H, not the Scar L. They are two different guns. This one's a battle rifle. The other one is a assault rifle. Um, so yeah, this is just gonna be some gameplay, and we're gonna compare some stats. So uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so first off, we have the Scar H statistics, which is on the screen right here. As you can see, I only have 40 kills, 39, but um, ever since the reset, I have uh, not had as many kills. I haven't played with the Scar H. I've been playing with the AN94, which was our first gun review. Um, so here we go. No things. Default sight, default barrel, none, none. We're just going to go base stats. Uh, the damage is 35 to 28 uh, on range, so it does high damage at close range. It falls off pretty quickly. Um... The range is 90 max uh, versus 150 min, so the max and min mean the damage. So at 90, it does max damage. At 150, it does minimum damage. After that, it no longer hits or it doesn't do any damage at all. Um, so that's a pretty good range uh, for, a, for a battle rifle. That's really meant what it's supposed to do. Its accuracy is actually decent, about um, half of full accuracy. Snipers have really high accuracy. Uh, some machine guns have the lowest. But, so, the accuracy, I feel like the accuracy is misrepresented. It's hard to use because while it has good accuracy, it has um, a lot of recoil. Um, as you can see in some of these clips, the recoil is pretty great. Um, the hip stability is actually lower than the AN-94. So, if you're going to fire this weapon, don't free fire it. It doesn't do as well. The aim stability is pretty nice. Um, except for the recoil again. And that's because it is a strong weapon. But, yeah... Um, there are three fire modes. There's f fully automatic, burst, and single. I use it on fully automatic. I feel like that's the best. Uh, arguably, people like to use single shot and use it as a rifle. Um, but I feel like the Scar H, since it does a lot of damage close up, I feel like um, opening it up to full automatic is, is where I like to keep it. The rate of fire is actually 625. That's decent. That's nothing compared to the AN-94. It is a battle rifle. It fires slower, but heavier uh, shells and the like. Um, the magazine is only 20. It has a very low magazine. Like, uh, I run out very quickly. Like, I barely can kill one person with one magazine at long range. Um, that guy up there is using the Scar-L. I think I like that one better. Uh, we'll do that one soon. And then, here we go with the... Um, the magazine size again. So we have 120 rounds with 20 round magazines. So I mean, you, you don't get that many. You don't get that many magazines. So you're probably gonna die anyway. And the ammo type is uh doesn't really matter, but it, they're pretty big uh, shells for a battle rifle. Um, and that's the that's basically the Scar H stats. We're gonna actually go on and compare them to the AI 94 stats. Um, so I'll be back with that in a minute. So here we go, back with the AN-94 compared to the Scar H stats, and let's jump right in. As you can see, I have more kills with the AN, as I told you before, but um, that's because I've been playing with it since the reset more. Uh, let's get into the comparison of the stats. The damage is 32 to 24 on the AN versus 39 to the 28 on the Scar H. So, the AN-94 does much less damage um, overall. It starts with a lot less damage and ends minimum damage is less. Um... The range is 50 for maximum damage and 129 for minimum damage or 120. Um, so significantly less range uh, to do damage. The accuracy is just a little bit lower than the Scar H. Uh, the hip stability is higher, so firing from the hip is much better with the AN-94. There's less recoil on the AN-94, I feel. And then the aim stability is much lower since the Scar H is a battle rifle. So, um, so yeah. It has two fire modes. It has single and auto. It doesn't have the three-round burst. Uh, the rate of fire on burst is 1,800, which is pretty ridiculous. That is a lot of bullets being fired. 600 on auto, which is actually lower than the rate of fire for Scar H. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like the AN-94 is a better weapon overall compared to the Scar H. But, um, so, yeah, it fires just barely more than the AN-94. And then the magazine size, the Scar H is 10 less rounds per magazine than the AN-94. Um, I feel like the, a the AN-94's magazine would be amazing on the Scar H if it could hold 30 rounds. Uh, the 20 rounds is actually, I feel like it's very limiting in how you play um, and how many kills you can get. Like you can't, 
cycle between guys because you run out of ammunition um, and you have to reload and the reloading takes a decent amount of time. I feel like the AN94 reloads faster than the Scar H. Uh, it should tell you. And then if you look at the ammo type, the Scar H again uses much bigger shells. Uh, it's easy to penetrate terrain and cover. So the Scar H will shoot through. As you can see, I think in one of these clips I can shoot through that some of that brick. Um, but yeah, so that's that's basically the comparison between the AN94 and the Scar H stat wise. We're going to get into some of the long range, medium range, and short range kills and see how they perform at those ranges. Alright, so here we go. We're getting into short range kills. Um, at short range, it performs very well. In this first clip, he comes around the corner. I'm aimed, I'm ready. Uh, it takes two shots to the head, instantly kills. Uh, other bullets are just for because you can't react fast enough. In this next clip, uh, he comes around the corner. I miss my first couple shots. Get length three or four on his back, and he's dead. Um, it does very high damage at close range. Um, kills really quickly. In this next clip, you can see through the metal. Um, I still it takes like four or five shots through the metal, kills him. Uh, and then I think he's still alive because his body doesn't disappear, and I keep shooting. But so at close range, that's basically the breakdown. Um, in these couple clips, you see very quick, um, like three to four shots, two two headshots to kill. Um, isn't isn't very bad for uh, for um, a gun, uh, especially for a battle rifle, which was be long range. So it has pretty nice close range assassination ability. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna get into medium range and long range. So here we are with our first long range. Um, the grenade is just for fun. We're going to take out our scar. We see him over there. Um, it takes me a while to notice him, even though, no. Nah. And we're going to take some shots. Uh, see, as you watch as the recoil, look, one shot puts it like five feet above where the target is supposed to be. Um, luckily, my mouse is good, so I can keep it right where it's supposed to be. It takes a lot of shots. We mi Look at how much we're missing. The recoil is huge. Accuracy at long range is actually pretty low. But we end up killing him. Um, so, it's it's all right. Anyone with a better weapon, like an MK11 or a sniper, will kill you almost instantly. You're not going to be able to fight them if you're lucky. Um, that time we got him, so I felt pretty good. Uh, so, I mean, the long range is all right in this gun. I don't feel like it's as strong as status. I feel like the, the closer you are, the better. Even though it is a battle rifle, I take it more as an assault rifle. Um, especially because in other games, the scar is the assault rifle. So, I don't know. But I don't know how I feel about that, but that's how it works. So, here we go. Um, so the long range is weaker than the the short range, but overall still very well designed gun and uh, good enough for for you to use. All right, so we're gonna get into some gameplay at the end and my final final words, final comments on the Scar H. Um, so yeah, here we go. So uh, this is just some gameplay. I got murdered there. Um, I feel like the gun, the Scar H, is very well designed. It is a very solid gun too. Um, it's I felt like the jack of all trades. I think that's what I said about the N94 too. But I feel like this is more jacky of all tradey. If that makes any sense to you, it's um, it's good close range. It's all right close range. It's all right fall range. It's all right medium range. There's no really suit where it's like it shines really well. Like the N94 close range destroys. It demolishes, just like the UMP at close range. So, you know, it it doesn't have a defining factor. I don't think it doesn't stand out from other battle rifles or assault rifles, but if you're looking for a well-balanced gun, because you're a well-balanced player, this is a great gun for you. Um, if you're not one of those scrubs that sits around and snipes every day because that's all you can do and you can click one button and get instant kills, then, you know, try this gun. It's good. It's fun. It requires skill, um, which if I see you using a Scar H, I'm not going to complain that you're not playing. I'm going to respect you. It's, it's a nice gun. Also, you saw me walk through that wall, right? I'm pretty sure earlier I couldn't do it, so I don't know why I did that differently that time. That's that's weird, but you know, whatever. So yes, this gun, I, I think it takes skill. Um, like right here, that's a <laughs> spray and pray a little bit. So maybe maybe no skill for that one, but you know, the rest of some skill. Um, so my final words, we're gonna go through, and I'm gonna rate uh, how I feel about the how I feel about overall what it's like. So I'll be right back with the ratings. So here we go with the ratings. Uh, I got them on screen right now. Um, here they are. So, 
uh, for the long range capability. I put I gave it a six. Out, these are all out of ten, by the way. So the long range, a six out of ten, pretty solid. Um, a little bit better than average, a little bit worse than better, you know, it's sort of right there. Mid-range, completely average, there's nothing special about it, nothing worse about it, it's just average, mid-range. Short-range, it is above average, it is um, pretty good, very good, um, very good for short-range, does a lot of damage. For the fire rate, I'm giving it a 6, it doesn't have the best fire rate, but I, I don't like having really fast fire rates, like submachine guns and such, so I'm giving it a 6 out of 10, due to the fact that it has a nice, it has a nice solid fire rate. For cover pen, it's an eight. That is, it has amazing cover pen, as you can see right there. I shot basically through the wall. Um, so yeah, I'm giving that a solid eight out of ten for cover penetration, which I really like. Um, being able to shoot through stuff feels really great. Someone goes behind a wall, they need one shot left. Of course, it does reduce damage because it's slowing down a lot through stuff, but I don't know. I feel like it's nice. For recoil to four, it is low average. It is not very good for recoil. If you're looking for a gun with low recoil, this is not your gun. It has very uncontrollable recoil. Um, it requires a lot of getting used to, but once you get used to it, you can master this gun. The TTK, or the time to kill, uh, I give it a six, because it doesn't require that much time to kill, but it's not a one shot, obviously. So, um, I like the time to kill, and time to kill doesn't include headshots. Um, it's just regular shot body shots. So I like the time to kill. It could be a little bit better, but you know, what are you going to ask for? And then for headshot damage, um, seven. Two shots to head to kill, I think, is what it was um, after doing some research, and I, I like that. See, like right there, the time to kill is pretty short. But for headshots, I, I told you earlier, uh, two, two to head to kill. Oh, that's pretty good. Some guns do it in three or four, one, some do it in one. Um, I know the snipers do anything in one. Even if you get shot in like the toe, you die in one shot, which I don't think is fair, but you know, YOLO. Um, so overall, a solid gun. I'm going to give you the final rating and uh, whether I recommend it or not. Um, so th just take a moment and look through this, see if you like it. It's very well balanced. As you can see, 6, 5, 7, 6, 8, 6, 7. The only really thing that's low is recoil because um, it has a lot of it. But other than that, it's very balanced weapon. Um, and I recommend it for players who are well balanced and and know what they're doing. This is not for new players, and it's more for experienced players. So let's get on to the final rating. And for a final rating, we get well balanced weapon at a 6.125 average rating after averaging out all of the other scores. 6.125 is very good. Not very good. I keep saying very good. It's it's more than average. It's better than average. It is a well balanced gun overall. 6.125 is average. That's pretty balanced. Um, I recommend using it if you're a well balanced player or experienced player, or maybe if you're new. It doesn't matter. It's this Roblox. Do it. Do what you want. You know. But I like the gun. I'll probably use it sometimes when I when I feel like it. And thanks for watching all. This was Start Gaming here with a gun review on the Scar H. We'll be coming out with some more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Check out our channel, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, so yeah, let's start gaming. See you later.